All right. Got me recording over here. Got music going. And this is Solly's vlog. Yes, episode two, as we shall call it. So now I'm recording on my Rodecaster Pro. I'm trying to take away from the counter in the background um, a little bit. That's better. I'll put the iPad over there. But this is Sally's vlog, episode two. Um, we're live from downtown Seattle, December 31st, 2020. 2020 will finally be over. I know people will be glad, but I don't believe the world will change like people think, like everything will go back to normal. Um, I do <clears throat> believe that live streaming will become a wave of the future of how we connect with people. I still think people will travel to other countries and other cities and states and everything else, providences, however you want to look at it. I still think that will occur. However, I do think this will be the big medium that it intended to be. And this is what I mean by that. Um, if you would have told me five years ago, I would be doing a video for YouTube, I'd be like, you're nuts just because, um, I'm a DJ. So the first thing I think, well, cool. Putting music online would be awesome. <clears throat> I've already done that. I do that all the time. So I like to hear myself in the headphones. That way I know how loud everything is, but, um, I think this is very much something that's going to be the wave of the future. Um, whenever I would put my mixtapes online or mix shows, you know, from online radio and things like that, um, <clears throat> it's something that takes time. And once you learn all the nuances and not learn everything, um, when you do that, then you become a lot better with doing your mixes and they do a lot better. Cause I mean, if it's music that people like to hear, they're going to tune into it. That's one of the reasons why the woman crush Wednesday series for me is so successful because people like the music on the playlist from the girls that are featured in woman crush Wednesday. That's why they do so well. Um, some projects do better than others. The cat in the trap is a really good example. Um, that's monthly Manila underground is another good example. My goal really isn't spans and views and things like that. I want to get my content out there to connect with people. That's very important in today's world where everything's socially distanced and a lot of things are going on that people can't really explain. That's why I came up with Solly's world. As you can see right here on the uh, lower left hand part of your screen, uh, this is kind of my banner for my live stream. I'll be returning to that Monday through Friday, probably start more like a uh, January 5th instead of 4th because I get back from my trip on the 4th. So I kind of want to spend a day editing and doing some stuff. There's a lot for me to learn about software, which is the importance of Solly's vlog. So that's why I kind of want to keep doing it because I want to take people through the journey. Obviously <clears throat> in another 12 months when I'm doing the vlog, it will look completely different. But for example, I use Ecamm live, so it makes things very, very, very easy to, um, new widget overlay oh okay so we got these 
we're gonna go to media. Just kind of see. I like this background music. It makes me think of video games, but my first couple of vlogs, I want to do some royalty free music in the background. So I listen to Harris Heller a lot. What up, Harris Heller? Um, <clears throat> when you're streaming, it takes a lot of work. So I'm going to look. I want photos. Okay, we're in videos. So this is an example of me doing some video while I'm out in downtown Seattle. Well, we can't do that because that just brings back a little feedback. But that's me out there <clears throat> without my mask. Oh, no. Um, that's me outside doing a little bit of video. Um, I just kind of wanted to show what it does and that's just kind of a good look that's how Solly's vlog is going to be I'm going to find out a way to get audio into it and go from there um, there's a lot of things to learn play DJ TV Twitch uh, Periscope is obviously changing up a little bit but this is my new cool nifty mic, mic stand that I got here at Guitar Center in Seattle um, Roosevelt Park, I think it is. This is a nice city. Um, like I'll tell anybody, the world is a little bit weird right now, so you can't take anything serious. Just enjoy life one day at a time. I got a couple of errands to run for the day, but that's kind of how my vlog is going to be. Um, I, I think the first couple of episodes will be a little bit boring, but you know, right now it's three o'clock on the West Coast on New Year's Eve, December 31st on a Thursday, which means it's about six o'clock back at home and it's 7 a.m. New Year's Day in the Philippines. It's already the new year. That's crazy. Um, I am going to do a live stream tonight on all of my networks and just kind of do something to bring in the new year. Um, just so people can kind of have some ideas. Like when it's 9 a.m. here, it will be midnight in the Midwest. So technically in my head, it's already the new year. It's not the new year here for another nine hours so my sister's out having fun enjoying seattle and surrounding areas and that's awesome i'm gonna go a couple of places um i've been out here a few times so i'm a little spoiled my goal was to come out here and record some awesome content uh take some really cool pictures which i've been able to do um i'm kind of a little bit limited with some of my hardware and software as far as what I use, but you know, so we can take that off. Uh, new animated overlay and we're going to go down. I like there's a way that I can do this and uh, do something different, obviously, but This is kind of the way of the future. It's not, you know, put together 20 or 30. Actually, we won't even add it because it's taken too long. There we go. Um, this is episode two of my vlog. We're about 10 minutes in. Um, this is going to be something that I do all the time. You know, Gary V 
said something about doing um, uploading to YouTube twice a day. That's really hard to do, but that's why you need to get into mastering 10 to 15 minute videos so that people can find something that is relatable. You know, there's no need of doing like a two hour video because no one's gonna watch a two hour video unless they're a diehard fan, unless you're Joe Rogan or Gary V or Pat Flynn or somebody that has a lot of followers. It just doesn't make sense. 88 miles an hour disco. I like that. Good job, Harris Heller. Um, but I'm recording this twice. I'm recording this video and audio on my Roadcaster Pro. And those are kind of some of the cool things that you can do with Ecamm Live. <clears throat> I'm going to start doing Solly's podcast. I'm going to interview actual people. That's what's going to make it different from a vlog. And I think you can put more time into it. Say, hey, we're doing Solly's podcast tonight. I can stream on Twitch. I can stream on Facebook. I can stream on YouTube. I can stream on all of these platforms all at once and even OnlyFans. So there's a lot of ways to do things like that. But right now I'm going to run some errands. I'm going to come back and do some more vlogs and get ready for my New Year's Eve set. So I probably plan to start that about 11. So two o'clock in the Midwest. Eastern Standard Time Zone, it'd be like 2 a.m. that I start. Just something cool. I'm just thinking of like a two hour set. The last hour of the year and the first hour of the year, just starting with, you know, music. You know, playing my tunes, um, probably saying a couple of things on stream, getting my levels and stuff set like that. So there's a lot of things, obviously, that can be done um but i'm very excited about 2021 and i'm very excited about seattle for some reason i love it out here i want to live out here that's kind of like the long-term game plan over the next couple of years so we're gonna say good day to solly's vlog episode two